Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and welcome to the series Practice With Me Sessions, SOLIDWORKS Beginners. Few things before we get started. If you're not in the first video of the series, you would probably miss something useful. Practice With Me Sessions are designed in a way to explain tool to the beginners by actually working on the simple projects. Thereby, they learn to implement the tool at the same time. It requires zero CAD knowledge if you want to start with these lessons. I will make the drawing file full size in every video beginning so the users can take a screenshot of it and use it while they practice. This series is created following the success and appreciation I received from Ketia videos. So I will try my best to do the same with SOLIDWORKS as well. I request my viewers and subscribers to give the same support I received from Ketia tutorial videos so that we can make this program a huge success. As usual, give thumbs up and comments. Without further ado, let's begin. In this video, we'll work on exercise number 23. To start off, let's go for File New and open a new part template and go for the sketch and select the sketch and select the plane that you would like to do the sketch. So obviously, it's uh, very obvious by seeing the part that you would have to do this sketch on the front plane. So I've selected the front plane to do the sketching and you can start doing some basic sketching here. So I'll use a circle and start putting two circles. Okay. And few lines. And like that. Alright. Now we can use the trim tool here. Go for the trim. Trim entities and use the power trim. Let's trim these portions. Okay. And start dimensioning the sketch so that there is radius 50. And this portion should be how much? 64 diameter, right? So 64 diameter. Okay, now we can dimension this, that's 50, and this should be how much? 25, and this is at a distance of how much? 100, and uh, what else? This is 25, and this is 25. And uh, I'll just go for the extend entities button and extend this. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And that's not fine. Okay. Let me just remove these. It's creating a kind of confusion here. Now create some first lines here. So basically, you just need to uh, create these lines if, if at all it's showing throwing some error, just delete and create that line once again. that so extend entities extend this and extend this line and trim this portion okay I have to trim this portion as well okay 
and this portion and this portion as well and uh, we have to create this timing here so I'll just to undraw a line here and draw another line and use the trim command to trim it off and uh, we just have to keep dimensioning it unless and until we get a complete black sketch or a black colored sketch that means that it's fully constrained now we have I think we've almost done our sketch now we just have to just keep trying to move the sketch around so we'll be able to understand where exactly we have to do the dimension so as you can see that the sketch is still moving so let me just give a little more dimension to it so this is 10 and uh, let me just create a center line and then try to dimension things with respect to the center lines And what else? This is six. This is twenty five. This is twenty five. And this should be. have a kind of midpoint constraint here I'll just delete that Oops. let me just try to move this So what I'm trying to do is to give three and then but um, okay. So this one let me delete this and then give this dimension here as three and this dimension this line at this point okay let just move this outwards it's basically let's try to do this okay now that's on the center now let's see what else needs to be done. <coughs> I think it's almost fully constrained. Okay, this is still moving. So that should be 75. This is 75. What else needs to be constrained? Oh, this is constrained. Let me just try to make the sketch once again. Okay, it's moving all around here, right? So I think we just need to set one of the point and I fixed that particular point there. Now the sketch is fully constrained. So exit the sketch now. Go for future features and go for extra blossom base. And okay. Oh, do we have to select the faces like this? Okay, select all the closed loops here. And now we can give the thickness.
sentence as 15 plus 15, 30, 40. So give 20 each on both sides. So that will be 20 each on both sides. Double enter. And now what, if, what we can do is to create this face or this particular portion. To create that, let's toggle around the planes to select the plane that we would like to sketch. And then just simply create a line here. A horizontal line. Doesn't matter how it is. And just select all these edges here. Go for convert entities. And it will be all black. And just select all these lines once again and go for um go for nothing. Let's just trim these portions. Okay, now we have a closed loop here. Our only work is to set the distance of where exactly this line is lying. And to do that, let's see if there is any dimension given here, or else we just have to put some random dimensions in. So from what I understand, this line is tangential to this line here. So let's just put tint tangent. And now we can have a fully constrained line there, or fully constrained sketch. Now we can go for extra bossing base and give five each on both sides. We have that particular portion done. The final thing is to create the hole here. So let's just uh, select this face here and go for creating a hole. Create a hole there and go for smart dimensions, dimension that hole and dimension it to diameter 12 and place that hole at a distance of uh, a distance of 20 and this hole should be lying on the center right so let me just create a center line there from the origin I'll just create a line there so it's basically um, lying on the center itself let's just exit the sketch and go for extra uh, boss and base and give complete to all and that's it double enter will confirm that action and that's all so that's about exercise number 23 uh, if you have any doubts you can comment below the video thank you so much keep liking keep sharing keep subscribing and also don't forget to hit the like button I and mean, don't forget to hit the notification bell button that you can see on the right side which is really introduced by youtube so this basically gives you a notification every time i upload a new video so check it out as well thank you and stay tuned